Yeah, we win. Yeah. So the I don't Clippers know. did that for years. They would get yeah. the first draft it's, pick and just pick. I don't know. Yeah, but they would pull a candy. And see, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, they right? padre that shit up. If anybody got good, owed them. They dump them immediately. They, mm. Yeah, they'd leave as soon as they could, go to another team. Yeah, Even right. Ferry, he went overseas, so he went Who? up to play for the Clippers. Danny exactly. Ferry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, so. the, the time when it really turned around <laughs> and it made us go, maybe the Clippers are actually trying to win is when they actually picked up Blake Griffin. Blake right. Griffin, yeah. Even though they knew he was going to be out a year, they – they picked him. Mm-hmm. No, no, told he, me that he, he was he started the preseason. Oh, that's right. But he still had like knee injury issues in the off season. Mm-hmm. No, he was set to coming play. out of college. Yeah, but he was set to play, and then yeah, he but he he was coming off of a bad injury from Oklahoma. Himself. So. Yeah, right. so, yeah, and then wasn't it the one of his the first game or something where he blew out his knee? Yeah, yeah he did that on purpose. He's like, I, get the fuck out. <laughs> well, of I here. think that was still in preseason, wasn't it? Was yeah. it? Could have been because I, I can't remember because his second year became his rookie year. But right. normally the Clippers could have used that as the out to not pick the best player on the board and then pick some shit like Olo Candy again. <laughs> Olo Candy. He's awesome. He's the candy man. Yeah, the candy, <laughs> the candy man. man. Yeah. Uh, also, Kevin Durant says that uh, the media treats Kobe like shit. He needs to back off. Whoa. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Leave the old man alone. Leave him the fuck alone. Yeah. I would treat him like shit, too, if he took money <laughs> handed to him. Oh, man. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. Take this and buy someone with it other than me. <laughs> I'm already here. My name's Trigger Mike. On I bench. would turn down $25 million my last year of not playing hey, basketball. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady both took pay cuts to get better players. <laughs> <laughs> there again, I'll tell you why they do that. The Lakers did that because they know they're shit, yeah. and that's the only way they're going to get people in the seats is to have Kobe and Bryant. And Kobe hey, wouldn't on. say no. And how about this? How about Steve Either, Nash? Nobody would say your no. Your lord and savior who was injured the entire last season of his career, <laughs> would not retire so he could collect, and admittedly, so he could collect that yeah. $12 million. Hey, I he, don't care. Hey, wait, how many MVPs does Steve Nash have? I don't care either. More than Kobe. <laughs> Deserves the money more than Kobe. Thank you. I don't he know. deserves that's my point. the money. That's my How point. How many championships does Steve that Nash have? He very doesn't sec- deserve it. That's a sec winner. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm done. Oh six! Oh six! Drop the mic. Gladly, I'll turn that mic off. Oh six should have went to Kobe. I'm going to put that out there. Yeah, but then again, what? Oh three should have went to Jason Kidd and went to Tim Duncan instead. So we can talk about that all we want. But pew, pew. MVP's the flavor of the month, and Tim Duncan was the flavor of the month that year. Jason Kidd was the best player in the league when the Nets went to the the championships. So. Too busy slapping a hoe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was pre slap. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you're full of shit. Kobe was offered <laughs> the money. Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, fuckface, offered the money. No negotiations. This is 100% Jimmy Buss's fault. If you want to talk about Kobe not taking a pay cut, what are you going to do? Hey, Mike, if you want to stay here, we're going to give you a raise by like three times, or we could just pay you what you're normally getting paid. Oh, I'll take what I'm normally getting paid. Hey, Mike, we know you're a competitor and you want to win another title, yeah. so we're going to give you some more money I'm so you can afford somebody else. I'm talking about your depressing life, not Kobe's. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had... I I'm mean, the best. Yeah. They had the cap room last year, and what did they do with it? Nothing. So they went out and had to go, you know, save face and get Roy Hibbert and yeah. do this. Slow and do that. Roy. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think ultimately they probably knew that nobody really wants to come play with Kobe at this stage of his career. And they just said, so why not give him more? Yeah, money. Let's just give him the money because we have extra. Mm-hmm. So they probably Kobe. know that it, it, we truly can't, you know, rebuild until he's gone. And quite frankly, it was a business decision because as soon as Kobe announced his retirement, ticket sales went up. <laughs> yeah, not a joke. It did <laughs> not next year's, this year's, this yeah, year's. It's yeah, crazy. Ticket sales. This last one. Yeah, <laughs> well, even the last game, I went to look at it, and it was already like ridiculous. I can't imagine what it is now. And here's the thing. It is not a good investment in buying tickets any further than a week out for a Kobe Bryant game. That's true. That's true. There is a good chance that you won't see him. Yeah, that's he, right. Mm-hmm. He may retire before he thinks. He may Especially retire. Especially if it's a back-to-back and you don't know which one he's going to play. Especially if Byron Scott keeps playing him 50 minutes a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a 48-minute game. Yeah. He keeps minutes. telling him, I don't want to do this anymore. He, he has him running around there. during timeouts. That's right. Kobe, you want back Laker in? Laker fan, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Only Raider fan in the room. That's right. Work on that, man. Yeah, Byron, he calls timeout. Keep playing, Kobe. We're going to talk yeah. over here. Do some laps. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy. All right. That's all the basketball I got. Anybody else? Before I move on? No. Okay, good. Uh, before you move on, you should go over to Audible. Trial. Mm. Dot com slash charity strike. Audio movement. Mm. What? Right. Mm-hmm. Move on, movement. Oh, that's I'm just trying to that's what I do. I take a shit and make just a noise. To connect. <laughs> Audio movement. Uh, anyways, <laughs> audibletrial.com slash charity strike free audiobook download for everyone. 
of the uh, Charity Strike Listening fan base. All two of you, go get yourself a free audio book from audibletrial.com. I know you're saying there's only two of us. We've already done it. Yeah. Wrong. Do it again. Only one of you have. Yeah, I yeah. have the stats. <laughs> call our fans the deuce because they are and that's all there is. We Quote, doubled our think fans. Think about that. Quote the Raven nevermore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before we move on to baseball, which I know you're all excited about, uh, I thought I'd let you all know that the good news in uh, Charity Strike uh, world. I don't know. World. We're shutting down? <laughs> Last show, everybody. <laughs> it, uh, Mike's we'll be tiring with Kobe. Yeah, Mike, yes. Mike's, uh, Mike's having a boy. What? Woo. Yeah. Oh, hey. A boyfriend? or I shoot Y chromosomes. That's He's right. had a lot of boys. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you're talking about his kid. Yeah, his kid. Oh, oh, congratulations, man. Yeah, oh, thank congratulations. you. Yeah. It literally rained men. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you won't, uh, you know, turn some girl into a stripper. It'll be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just turn uh, so, some yeah. poor kid into a, a thief. So That's Trick, true. That's true. Trick has had boys, but he's actually having a boy. Mm-hmm. I got it. <laughs> yeah, this one he can. I'm Mr. Double you. Entendre. Is that what they call you? That's what they call me. Right. Is that what they call you? Mm-hmm. I've heard him call you other stuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Double Dickens. <laughs> Double oh, Dickens. That's what his son will call Never heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been around long enough. All right, let's move on to baseball. That was dumb. Now, there's lots of teams throughout this land, but I'm proud to be a Cubby fan. Believe me, 84 was just the start. We're going to bring a pennant to this park. Hey, I'm a Cub fan. I'm a Cub fan. And I'm a Bud The Cubs? Man. So, uh, Holy cow. You have a name yet? In the middle of the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a long song. Harry yes. Carey's like, shut up. Harry Carey. <laughs> I'm singing. I, I, I think it's only fitting. Harry Carey Everett. I, I think you should name him Bud. Bud? Oh. That's what inspired was Harry Carey. Oh, okay. Little, little Bud. Bud. man. Yeah. Be careful, you might call him Butt. He's a Bud fan. <laughs> but he loves butts. Uh, baseball talk. Jordan Zimmerman and the Tigers reach a five-year, $110 million deal. The Z-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Not so good for the Nationals. Tigers replenishing. Mm-hmm. They've gone back to the pond yes, for a yeah. drink. <laughs> okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, uh, it means what you said. Okay. <laughs> the D-backs are so goddamn horrible that Johnny Cueto rejects a oh six-year, $120 million offer. Holy Dang. shit. Wow. Way to suck, He balls. doesn't like those uh, concession foods out there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too no, fatty. No churro dogs for Cueto. <laughs> Too distracted yeah. by that shit. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> He's ordering him to the dugout. Turtles oh, are distracted. Yeah. I've heard about that other guy that stepped on a cactus. The guy that stepped on a cactus? Yeah, we talked about it about a year ago. I was going to say, that oh, sounds right. like the start of a bad joke. I thought so, too. <laughs> no, it's one, of the, one of the Diamondbacks pitchers during spring training that stepped on a cactus. Right. Oh, yeah. man. Well, when uh, they asked Salvador about Johnny Cueto. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Uh, Brian Pena. Agrees to a $5 million two-year deal with the, the Cardinals to be willing as backup. That contract seems like nothing compared to what we just talked about. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> yeah, it sure close. is. Yeah, yeah. Right. Everything pales in, in comparison. In years, yeah. it's close. The Braves have signed uh, former Dodger and former Brave, Jim Johnson. <laughs> Right-handed pitcher, one year. Double J. Double J, Jim Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> J-I-M. J- oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> There's no doubles in the name. People are like, what is he doing? J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Dope. Yeah, we know your name. But. It's a wrestling joke, people. <laughs> Catch on. Uh, what else? Barry Bonds is in talk with the Marlins to become their hitting coach. <laughs> Part of the negotiations oh. is, will he bring his juice? I yeah. hope so. Yeah. He'll bring the back knee they for need sure. It. Bring the what? The back knee. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, and the rage. That's where the uh, last uh, steroid scandal was. This is Miami, right? Uh, only fitting to bring Barry Bonds there. That's true. Mm-hmm. But nobody from Miami. And A-Rod. A-Rod, Barry Bonds, and... In Miami. That'll be perfect. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Juice Box Award. Yeah. Nominees just piling up this year. <laughs> uh, the Kansas City Royals uh, World Series paychecks came out, and they were worth $370,069. More than wow. the total of all their checks combined during the season. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh, Mike's <laughs> making you, a You joke. really have to think about it because it's the Royals, right? It's true. It's true. Only, uh, next one down would be the Padres. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, oh, and Mark Anthony, former Miss JLo, <laughs> to represent Reds closer Aroldis Chapman. Oh, wow. I was going to pull a Mark Anthony song for this. No. I did not want to listen to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't want to listen to that skeleton sing. Uh, is there an uglier singer in the world than he's Mark Anthony? Very oh. ugly. The guy's hideous. And yeah, yeah, he, he wears sunglasses inside. Yeah. <laughs> 
Does he? Yeah, he does what a lot. Miley Cyrus? You ever notice that? He wears sunglasses just inside all the time. Just in case there's a mirror or something. He has something. Steve <laughs> Buscemi eyes. Ew, yeah. That's creepy. God, man. Oh, so J-Lo creepy. left Ben for that. I would. All right. <laughs> she also left Mark Anthony. That's true. Yeah. Twice, right? Didn't Twice. They Twice. In the 90s or something? Yeah, they yeah. dated like before they were super famous. Yeah. And then they dated when they were... Super famous. super famous and then uh, she's like why am I dating the ugly guy when I can have the super hot dancer that uh, fucks me on the road anyway right. <laughs> problem true. solved everybody problem solved <laughs> alright that's all the baseball hey that's pretty good I fit all the baseball talk into the song into the song nice yeah and not a Mark Anthony song thank god that yeah. song was much better than Mark Anthony's I'd say so hell yeah so, yeah. so uh, let's see what Haiku Hank has to say what's up bitches you've reached the charity strikes private sex line so leave your name, number, and breast size. We'll be sure to jerk off to you as quickly as possible. Later, bitches. Oh, daddy yos Haiku Hank here. This is episode 270. Haiku. Here it goes. The one on Cam's chest equals the Panthers ranking. Dave does a spanking. Oh, daddy, oh, them Panthers fucked up them Cowboys, and I love it. Anyways, have a great episode 270. I'll get you guys next week. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, you know, I know one of the Panthers cheerleaders. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah? she do. I'm not just making that up. She's hot, too. <laughs> Uh, you swear, brother. Well, <laughs> She's yeah. a Panthers yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's an ugly bitch. I know. Right? <laughs> Is it Aniba? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Sister Former. Up. She moved up from football to real football. Right. She was yeah. a soccer cheerleader, and now she's a. That's great. Uh, well, that's she went great. from soccer to like indoor football to real football. Oh, Congratulations to becoming real relevant. sport. Yeah. yeah. Wow. She's actually, you know, that commercial that Cam Newton's in for like yogurt. Yes. She's in that commercial. Oh, that was my dream. Sorry. Uh, mm-hmm. uh-huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Get out your <laughs> pillows. <laughs> Mike is talking. Uh, oh, shit. Anyways. Update. Josh McCown has left the game. Do you think they're going to go with Manziel or that second stringer? Still? Oh, man. No, they've called in the beer guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, let's talk uh, more important stuff. Did someone say titties? What? Hello, ladies. Uh, One of the weirder transitions. Uh, anyways, chick of the day. It's the most important part of the show, everybody. Her name is Olivia Culpo. It's mm. C-U-L-P-O. Oh, Olivia. Oh, Olivia. Uh, listener Olivia? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> She was dating Tim Tebow? Yeah, what? <laughs> anyways. I uh, bet he's fucking the shit out of her, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, we're going to talk all about that in the second block, but uh, former Tim Tebow's <clears throat> girlfriend, Olivia Culpo. Oh, yes. Not only is she hot, but she's on the market. Oh. Of course, I'll post a picture of it at Facebook.com slash the charity strike. Uh, but being Facebook, it won't be nude. If you go to Google and you type in Olivia Culpo nude, you'll like what the results. Uh, Mike's uh, already on his computer <laughs> typing in Tim Tebow nude. <laughs> 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 if she did it, then why didn't he? Uh, anyway, so oh, wait, he did. Well, yeah. I was impressed by the non nude pictures like a long time ago. I was like, wow, was like she's amazing. Yeah, and then the new nude ones are even, yeah. they're even better. Rawr. Jeez. Pull up any naked Tim Tebow pics yet? <laughs> Close. <laughs> All right. Almost as good. Anyway, so Olivia Culpo, chick of the day. The chat room is a green wholeheartedly, whole boneredly. Uh, anyways, we're going to take ourselves a break, but we do have a new game oh. on the other side. Wow. Someone the say break. the game. Oh, oh, Nobody God. said the game. It's <laughs> a game, and it's not over. Uh, anyway, so stick with us. You will enjoy the uh, the quarterback showdown. Between Kirk Cousins, Peyton Manning, and Philip Rivers. It's going to be fantastic. In the meantime, thecharitystrike.com, Facebook.com, slash thecharitystrike, at thecharitystrike on the old twat box. And uh, hey, you want to call? It's 805-419-3679. You can also tit us. Text us your tits. Somebody say titty. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, we'll, with that, we'll be right back, everybody. I'm looking at nude pictures, bitches. <laughs> of Tim Tebow. Did someone say titties? <laughs> <laughs> 